I think there has been a lot of conversation with Calgarians over the course of this campaign. I believe they voted in a council that gives them hope and makes them feel like they're part of a city that has a strong future. And I felt today it was appropriate to make sure that we kept the meeting brief and allowed families to enjoy this incredible victory. I think it'll be incredibly important to make sure that those of us who have been around this horseshoe before are providing strong support and mentorship to the folks that are new. And I will say this, the folks that are new are bringing a lot of great skill sets, a lot of great ideas, and they're very interested in collaborating with us to do the things that they feel are important in their ward and in their city. So it will be my responsibility to make sure that everyone feels heard and that we put together some good ideas and simply move forward. We've got an executive committee of council that lets us do that so that's what we will focus on. We are at a moment in time like cities across human history where our core industry is in a state of structural change and uh, like history like cities across history we could fade or we could double and triple down on our incredible suite of strengths and rise as a great Western Canadian place to make a great Canadian life and uh, my my candidacy was based around the idea that we should rise together and I'm very pleased that not only was I elected under a banner of values like that, I think a lot of members of council were and they put it in their own ways and they were supported by uh, you know, third parties that put it in their own ways. But I think the clear message from Calgarians is that at this critical moment in our history, uh, we're hopeful and we're aspirational and uh, we're confident that we will rise. Realistically, I, I, it's, it's, it's going to be the same role that I've seen myself in for many years, and that is basically to try and push forward the, the, the idea of let's try and spend as little, Calgary, as little money of Calgary taxpayers as possible. Uh, it, it, it's an angle that, that I have tried pushing for the last number of years. Uh, there's, there's, it's, it, it's again a learning curve to understand what is acceptable, what isn't in, in, in the acceptable range. But more to the point, you have to realize that, that the city is a growing uh, 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 machine and you have to make sure that if you want services to continue, you must act accordingly. But anything that you do is going to change that matrix. I am the oldest rookie, but the most experienced. And that experience comes from working through the city, working with Councillor Farrell and all the councillors before and the mayors before that. And that is a weight that's on me that I have to you know, digest and understand. But I also need to reflect with joy and to say that there's been a lot of good things we've done in Calgary. In my 40 years of being in Calgary, 30 years of working for the city, there's been a lot of great things. And, and that, that weight of what's been done before is, is a... Is a, is a pleasant burden to take on and support. Mayor Gondek has been very busy these last number of days, but she has a way of making time for everyone. And I know that we will sit down and discuss priorities and, and the transition of the Ward 3 office. I think that Ward 3 is, has been in good hands and will continue to be in good hands. Obviously, the big priorities are going to be pushing to, to get the Green Line to, to come north, bus rapid transit up, up Center Street, and also uh, addressing some of the service and infrastructure deficits that we have in the Ward. I think for a long time we got tied up in issues uh, and sometimes forgot to treat each other as a very large community. And, and I think that's what this election looked like. Is you look at the slate of people that came in uh, from all, for all 14 wards, there's a degree of positivity that is, it, sh it shows in, in everything that we've done here. And people are looking for that sense of community to be rebuilt in this room so that we can see that expressed outside of it. Being on this council, serving under Mayor Gondek is, is not something that's lost on me, right? It's, it's an immense responsibility and, well, we got four years to do it justice. This council will get along. We know what we have to do. Uh, there's many big things that Calgarians are expecting from us and we have all had a very frank conversation with each other about how we need to work together. We're ready to do that.